Hello, St. Markians. Good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever, whenever you're looking at this. My name is Mark Walpus, and uh, I'm doing the devotion today. Um, and I'm doing it after, uh, um, after we had our um, certification of the Electoral College last night. So this is Thursday morning, January 7th. What a scene, huh? Uh, we're going to talk about stress. Talk about stress today. Go figure, huh? And how to manage stress. Um, Bible verse if you will, comes from Isaiah 30, 15 through 18. And this is what it says. This is what the sovereign Lord, the Holy One of Israel says to us. In repentance and rest is your salvation. In quietness and trust is your strength. But you would have none of it. You said, no, we'll flee on horses. Therefore, you will flee. You said, we'll ride off on swift horses, therefore your pursuers will also be swift. A thousand will flee at the threat of one, at the threat of five, you will all flee away till you are left like a flagstaff on a mountaintop, like a banner on a hill. Yet, the Lord longs to be gracious to you. He rises to show you compassion, for the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are all who wait for him. He's talking about stress here and how and how to manage stress. Um, events yesterday a little stressful, I'm sure. I was talking with someone this morning, and I said, I know I'm stressed out because this morning just driving, I, I forgot to use my turn signal when I changed a lane. Um, and that, in fact, is the way I got my last ticket several years ago, several years ago now, last uh, uh, traffic ticket uh, for an improper lane change, go figure. And I was fixing to go on a multi-state improper lane changing crime spree, so it's good that, it's very good that that police officer stopped me that particular day. But uh, how to manage stress, um, interesting. Um, avoiding stress damage for Christians. You know, there's no doubt in my mind that many of the people uh, that were at the Capitol yesterday, that, that breached the Capitol security, that were, that were um, ransacking that's what happened ransacking certain offices no doubt in my mind that many of them profess to be christians so why, why are we all so stressed out why are we all so stressed out well too much stress especially stress that's not relieved uh, by times of rest and renewal uh, can harm us physically mentally and and spiritually that's important as christians that we know that especially spiritually so while I cannot say that Christians should be totally stress-free, that's not a good thing, to be totally stress-free, I think it's safe to say that Christians should not allow themselves to become so stressed as to produce damage to their mind, to their, to their, to their bodies, their minds, and their spirits. And they, sh and they certainly shouldn't allow themselves to become so stressed out that they provide damage to the body, mind, and spirits of others. Although we often do that, I think it's safe to say that. Because it's not to say that this type of thing doesn't happen to a great extent. Um, we're caught up in the same rat race that everybody else is. Um, so in that rat race, sometimes we let our values get distorted. We forget about things. We don't see life clearly. Um, and we definitely don't see it from God's perspective. Um, we often see it from our own. Um, and the more stress that we have and the more uh, obstacles we face and the more the more of our own strength that we use to overcome those obstacles, the more weary we get. And sometimes, even in overcoming the obstacles, we become so weary as a result that we're not ready for the subtle changes that occur afterwards. And those subtle changes is that we realize that uh, we got through something and we think we did it ourselves. We think we did it ourselves. Subtle changes. Christians. You know, we're, we're interesting. We hear it said all the time that we're not of this world, but we have to live in this world. Yet I think oftentimes we try to change this world. Even though we know it's a broken world, we know the victory's already been won, we know the way the story ends, um, we just have our own path of getting from point A to point B. Um, and it's not always linear. Uh, you know, we, we want to do things our own way. That causes us to burn ourselves out just as quickly as other people. In the process, oftentimes other people don't see Christ in us. So I would encourage, I would encourage people to rest on God. I would encourage us to have faith, have faith, because the victory is won. 
it is one. It has been one. Um, there's no need to have your feet going 5,000 miles an hour under the surface of the water like a duck while you're calm and collected on top. Be calm and collected throughout. I know it's difficult. Um, I know it's easy for me to say these things, especially when I don't practice them myself. And I don't. Um, that's part of being a Christian, being a hypocrite. Um, you know, so, but that doesn't mean we can't try and we shouldn't be a better model. Um, and we shouldn't make better efforts because again, there's no doubt in my mind that many of the people that were at the Capitol yesterday professed to be Christians and I'm just not sure the message that was sent. I know the one that was received. I'm not just, I'm not all that sure about the effectiveness of the message that was sent. So rest in God, don't stress out. No, the battle has already been won. Doesn't matter how we get from A to B. What matters is that we get to B. God bless.